Robert Cape is a fascinating and a very experienced and distinguished academic and business leader. Um, he's a graduate of Oxford University and uh, I recently interviewed him on the podcast. So I really would suggest you go and check out that interview uh, if you want to find out about the most fascinating career that he's had, starting off in um, microbiology, I think, and then going into accounting and um, getting his articles and along the way, um, you know, developing some groundbreaking banking products, one of which was actually the subject of a Harvard University case study. And um, he actually met the professor who wrote that case study when he went to, to Oxford um, to do his um, degree in um, strategic business um, management. So check out that uh, podcast and hear from Robert Cape, um, who has done some incredible uh, other things with his life and uh, continues to just contribute to so many people in the, his very wide network. And I'm privileged to count myself part of that network. Uh, you'll hear about all the interesting traditions at Oxford, how they wear a pink carnation for their first exam, um, a white carnation for their second exam, and then when they finish their exams, they will go and jump um, in the river, I believe. So uh, you'll hear all about Oxford. But interestingly, although he said that Oxford was his lifelong dream to, to go and study at, he does strongly advise that, you know, if you have the means, obviously, um, you must pick the university that is right for yourself and obviously wherever you have the opportunity to go you should grab that opportunity with both hands but he talks about the importance of looking at different universities and understanding what their values are their culture their approach to learning um, he explains that at Oxford for example there's no lectures so <laughs> that might be one uh, benefit of going to Oxford never mind the fact that it's the most prestigious uh, university in the world anyway he'll hear more about Robert Cape um, and his uh, fascinating academic journey uh, in that uh, podcast interview. Go check it out. Uh, you definitely won't be disappointed.